Hi guys, I'm Silverwolf and this is another little art video for you all. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw dog and cat ears. Now the reason I've been using dogs and cats is because they're sort of common pets and they've got a variety of sort of shapes and looks and everything like that. And if you want to start out drawing animals it's probably best to start out drawing things around the house that you, you see every day and you know how they are and how they act and how they move. Um, obviously you can start out drawing any animal you like, it doesn't really matter. Uh, these are very basic art tutorials that I'm doing, but I know they're helping some of you, so I'm keeping on doing them. Um, I will do some more uh, advanced art tutorials as time goes on. So, let's start with cat ears. Now, cat ears are all the same, really. Um, so, they, are, they look like triangles. Like that. And they've got a little bit that goes in like this. And then they've got another little bit that goes like that. And that's pretty much it, that's a cat ear. And they'll often have a load of fur inside, which helps to protect the ear and to deaden sounds a little bit, because cat's hearing is very sensitive, unless you're my cat, who's deaf. Um, some cat ears, like uh, I think bobcats and things, they have like a tuft. Or Maine Coons, they have tufts on the top of the ear like that. So that's really basically a cat's ear. Um, that's all there is to it, it's that easy. So you've got a dog's ear, and the equivalent dog's ear, say like a German Shepherd or something. Now, dog ears, I tend to draw them stylized. So how I would draw German Shepherd's ear is I give it because the ear itself is a bit thicker than a cat's ear. The skin around here is all kind of thicker, and I sort of do the fluff from the head there. And instead of doing all this fur inside, because dogs don't really have that, I tend to sort of just do that to suggest that there's some sort of fur inside the ear. And you can also probably do a little bit there to show that it's got like proper substance to it. So that's like a German Shepherd's ear. Now, sometimes the animal gets scared, so if you want to draw the animal scared, to draw the ear down like that is just this. And there's that, that would be the head there, and the ear would be flattened because the animal's scared. Um, a dog who is going to attack you, or is, is alert to something, the ears point forward like this. This is also when the dog's guarding his territory or having a bark and sometimes even in fear they do sometimes stick their ears forward like that because they want to appear more threatening. So um, they don't sort of tuck down as, as much as cats when they're frightened but they do go back. So that's an ear for a dog that's That's alert. And you'd have the other one over there. Um, so then you've got dogs like Labradors. A Labrador has an ear that looks like this. It's a triangle, and it's really simple. It's just basically that. You can add a little bit of shape to the top of it, like that. This kind of floppy ear also is uh, for dogs like Dachshunds. Um, as well, that have these sort of pendulous triangular ears. And then you've got things like, my friend owns a Basset Hound, and the Basset Hound's ears are long, like that. And she told me the other day that Bassets have long ears like this so that they can waft scents to, towards their nose when they're tracking things, which is a Basset Hound's job to track um, small animals and things like that, or game, and they can go on in the undergrowth and things like that. Um, so let's see what other types you've got. I thought of one a minute ago. Oh yeah, you've got things like this, um, a spaniel. Again, another dog that's used to track um, make it more wobbly, because they do have curly fur. Spaniels are used for tracking down game. They have soft mouths, so they're also used for retrieving as well without damaging the game. 
And then you've got Salukis. Now the Saluki was how I was going to draw the Spaniel one first of all. Salukis have long ears and they are fluffy like that. And then you've got the Greyhound. See how many different types of dog ears there are. So the Greyhound's ears... Go like that. And greyhounds have very small ears and they, they sort of just hang down like that most of the time. They can prick them up and if you have a dog that's a greyhound crossed with something that's got sticky up ears, uh, like we had living next door to us when I was a kid, she was an Alsatian, which is like a German Shepherd, crossed with uh, a greyhound and so when she was alert her ears would stick right up like an Alsatian's or German Shepherd's ears. And it was quite funny because normally there were these tiny little things tucked behind her head. So these are just some of the types of ears you get for dogs. Um, you can also get little ears that uh, a terrier might have, which are stuck up like that. On top of the head. Um... I suppose a Jack Russell Terrier would have ears like that. And there are lots of other types of ears as well, but you can see I'm filling up the paper now. So um, have an experiment, find out what ears you like to draw, um, look at photos of dogs and cats. And these are all kind of like just basic pictures, uh, they're not sort of, I'm not trying to be realistic, I'm sort of keeping semi-realistic so you can recognise what they are. But um, obviously it depends whether you want to do real or cartoon. For cartoon, um, you can exaggerate certain points, like the, the Basset with the big ears, you can exaggerate his ears and make them go all the way to the ground, which is, um, so, you know, it's a thing that people do with cartoons. They exaggerate the most, um, the points of the animal that stand out the most. Uh, so yeah, just have fun with it. So that's all for this video. If you want to see more art videos, there are some coming up in the boxes down below. If you want to check out my Etsy and New Monday stores for custom art and plushies, I do those as well. Or you can buy me a coffee on Ko-fi, it all helps. The links are in the description. And that's all for this time. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep being awesome. This is Sylv, signing off.